What it do, YouTube? JKG back with another Diablo Immortal video for you guys. This one's a little bit, a little bit uh, more uh, personal, uh, shall we say? Uh, I know we get a lot of questions as as creators. Why do we play? Why do we choose this? Why did we do this? Um, and so I just kind of want to address some of those questions that that uh, I've been thinking about myself, and kind of maybe where we go from here as well. So uh, also. I want to take this time to thank you guys all so much for all the love and support on the recent videos. It means a lot to me if you could hit that like button. It would mean a great deal if you like the video. And then also if you could hit that sub button, we are on our road to 200 subs and then beyond. So we can potentially get monetized and maybe make a little bit of money and we can spend it on the game and uh, show you off some uh, some more pay to win stuff. So uh, yeah, let's go. Uh basically i'm not gonna put my my notes on the uh on the screen here for you guys but basically the the first question why did i decide to play diablo immortal now the big reason is like i have friends that, that decided they were gonna play it right um that's it that that's bar none i would never play diablo immortal so some background on me uh i played console games mostly sports games to be completely honest like madden and fifa and nba 2k those were like the games that, that i like to play because i could kind of shut my brain off and, and just kind of go through uh, i also really played competitive gears of war back in the day uh, and and i played some racing games as well so that that's kind of the background that i have in in gaming and i had friends who were in a better situation financially than me growing up as kids and they had computers and they played diablo so i always heard about diablo and heard that it was a great game to play and everything but i never got to experience it myself uh so when i had some friends and uh, that uh also they, they are content creators as well so definitely go check out some of the aftershock united boys they are doing some great work uh in the system in the uh in the uh in the scene uh and and they're definitely great dudes and and uh love them to death but a lot of them got together and they formed aftershock united um i didn't know that i was going to actually be starting to make content on diablo immortal i was just gonna go into it with the idea that i'm gonna test it out right i've never played diablo never played any mmo whatsoever uh so i had zero expectations going in so that might be a little bit to do with how i feel about the game currently compared to some other people uh the day one when i logged in and i made my barb um it was like a revelation the, it, for for me it was like a light just like started shining angels singing and i was like oh this is the type of game that i've needed in my life forever um it just it clicks that gar that goblin brain inside of me that that full completionist i want to do everything in this game um so that's kind of why i started playing the game just because i had friends coming over and, and playing why do i continue to play that is a different question altogether that goes back into that second part of of the answer of why i play and it clicks that goblin brain inside of me and i have to collect everything i have to complete as much as possible i have to try to do as much as possible in these games i am a heavy grinder and other games that i grant that i grinded hard in were like raid shadow legends complete different style grinding it's much more afk than than diablo immortal is especially when you're playing as a class like barb where you can't really you know send golems out and send summons out to do your work for you you can you have to be on the move constantly as a barb so that actually is very fun for me just the grind in general is so much fun for me um you can see in the background over there that i'm paragon 150 i hit paragon 50 last night before i went to sleep and I was overjoyed and I just started grinding some more because I was like, well, I, I have to test out. Like I have to see how, how everything works after being 150. So like that just clicks in my brain. And I love that just grind aspect of this game. And I'm definitely going to play more MMOs going forward. And this game really has me excited for when Diablo 4 finally comes out and potentially transitioning over into that. So that's kind of why I continue to play. The third question that I get is, why did I choose Barb? 
why am I a barbarian, right? Uh, especially now that class swaps are available. Um, why do so? The second there, there, it's kind of a two part question. Why did I choose Barb, and why haven't I swapped away from Barb? Why did I choose Barb? Again, coming completely out of left field, no experience. I asked my friends that played Diablo previously, what is the class that's just like the big dumb hammer, right? You go in, you just Hulk smash everything, let like no thinking, just just beat everything into submission, right? Everybody across the board said, oh, you, you'll love Barb then. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll try a Barb out. And then I, instantly I fell in love with the gameplay style. Um, the gameplay style for the Barb is just suits me perfectly. Um, for my, the way I like to play things, I like to be the, the tip of the spear, so to speak. I will go in, I will try to be the first one in, hit them for whatever I can and be a good distraction while my big heavy hitters behind me come through and clean shop. That is my outlook on PVP. Um, and that's why I run a heavy CC build in PVP um, and not trying to do damage. In PVE situations, because we're farming, I have to, you know, kill everything off myself. I do try to add in a lot of damage um, and, and everything like that. Now, along with that, the, the bad aspect of the barb is, is the damage, right? We all want to do damage and, and thinking coming in, what's the big dumb hammer? I want to do damage, right? I want to go in and I want to do damage. We don't necessarily do that in the later stages of the game um, where where other classes like Demon Hunter, Wizard, Necro, they all have those aspects where they can just do really solid damage against bosses and, and things like that. Where the Barb, where we tend to be, we have good AoE damage, but at the same time, we we don't have those those skills that just melt bosses yet. I say yet because I am searching and I'm trying everything. So if you if if y'all know a way to melt bosses as a barb, let's go. Let, let me hear it down in the comments below. I definitely want to hear it. Uh, why haven't I swapped the class yet since we we get there? I am very stubborn. Uh, so I am I am very stubborn and I don't feel like I've reached the max potential of my barb as well. So like different different stones, different skills. I want to try to go through and I want to test everything to the best of my ability. I don't want to just look at somebody else's video and say, oh, that's that's the, the, the peak of what a barb can be. I want to be able to say, okay, well, my my personal situation, my spending situation is different than theirs. My gameplay style is different than theirs. Uh, talking with other barbs in in my group and in my server, we i run completely different setups than than all of them so just for my style of play i want to realize my maximum potential as a barbarian before i go go uh, swapping out to another another uh, class also alongside that we can make alternate accounts in this game right so i have an alternate account monk i have an alternate account wizard uh, and so like if i want to kind of see what it's like to play one of those one of those accounts sure it's going to be you know going through the story mode and everything like that again it's going to be low level but i'm going to get a feel for what the what the skills can actually do as i go right so so that's something that that i like as well so I don't feel pressured to have to move to another class where some other creators, that's kind of a, one of the things that they want to do in this game. They want to go through, test them all out on their highest account, right? Get, you know, so they can see at, at that level of gameplay where they're at, at that Paragon level, they want to see that, you know, does the monk do more damage than, than the wizard in XYZ situation, right? So uh, does one have better CC than the other in XYZ situation? So that that I 100% respect that content and I definitely do pick their brains a lot in situations like that because I want to know what is their outlook on the barb compared to what my outlook on the barb is. And, and that's kind of, you know, why I haven't swapped yet. I just don't feel pressured to do it yet. Uh, the next question we get into is, will I swap classes? And if I do, what class would I go to? I mean, honestly, I'm a team player, so 
if we look like when, inevitably you don't hold a mortal forever uh in this game it's just impossible to do um i will probably go satyr uh and, and be crusader that way i can help as as a shadow in the shadow war i can help buff my teammates give them you know a banner and, and everything like that to try to give them extra crit crit chance and everything like that um and then or depending on how other people move within the clan structure i might go something like demon hunter just to go straight damage and and just just try to be the 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 nuker in the back you know slamming down and, and shooting everything in sight right um those are the two that I'm, I'm most intrigued about playing um outside of those two for my main account i would probably just make the the alternate account and, and grind on an alternate account and, and call it good um so yeah that that's kind of as far as class swaps where i'm going there um another one and this is the probably the biggest one for any content creator uh that we get um it, it's regarding the the uh the pay to win structure um will i will i wail out ridiculously um no um i am firmly a believer that you can you can spend a little bit of money like definitely in this game the battle pass is ridiculously good like if you are a low spender and you have like ten dollars per month that, that you can spend on you know disposable income for entertainment like like you can definitely pick up the the battle pass and and be and that's it and you can be j perfectly happy with that um I feel like the battle pass is very good value for your dollar spent. Uh, after that, you have to make the personal decision. What do, what are my values? What are, what is my economic situation? Do I have X amount? Do I have, you know, a hundred dollars a month that I can set us, that I set aside already for entertainment, going out to eat, going to the movies with friends, you know, whatever. If, if I have that money and it, and I want to take some of that money and put it into this game, that is your decision to do. And nobody can tell you anything different, right? So if you feel like, you know, I feel like doing a 10 pop of runs today, let's go ahead, I have the money. I was gonna go to the movies, you know, next week with, with John and Sally. But this week I feel like running riffs with, with JKG and the boys. Let's run some riffs. You know, you, the other people in your, the other people in your Rift group don't have to be spenders. You, they can run no crest at all and, and still get, you know, the, the runes and, and they can, you know, you get the, the satisfaction of running with your party, with your friends and being, you know, very much social in that aspect while you know getting rewards for yourself right so it's it's definitely something that is a very personal situation so as as of time of recording on this video i have spent i haven't done the math but i've, I've spent somewhere between four and five hundred dollars on the game it, since the game launched i think we're coming up on three months into the game so um other games and 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 whatnot in in the same time period i would probably be in in a pretty good whale pretty 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 decent whale structure um, i'm definitely not even close to the biggest whale in my clan or clan cluster um, we have people that have spent thousands of dollars and i think everybody has heard of uh, jt's all business uh also another barb so barb game stand up uh but uh he's definitely you know he's put in you know 100k plus at, at this point i believe in, in the game and you know that if i had 100k i can't say that i would make the same decisions right like the return on investment for me i don't think would be uh something to where i would you know well out that hard uh just based on my value of my money and my time and everything like that um but you know it, who's to say if i had that disposable income maybe i would you know but uh come on powerball let's go let's find out <laughs> um but uh but yeah so as far as my feelings towards whaling i know a lot of large content creators have been um they, they've kind of drawn their line in the sand against diablo immortals pay structure and the pay to win aspect of it which i feel is kind of 
what's the word hypocritical um especially when you know in in july any microtransaction was terrible any pay to win aspect was terrible we have to call our congressmen we have to set up meetings about getting pay to win microtransactions out of games here we are two and a half months later and same people are taking you know taking sponsorships from other games that have just as pay to win pay structures just it's packaged in a different situation it's not diablo i mean it's it's mighty uh it's mighty hypocritical of them in in my opinion um I'm not starting beef that's just my opinion i don't care what anybody else thinks that's how i feel about it um where do i go from here um in diablo immortal i love this game this game is so much fun for me uh, like i said i love the grinding aspect of it just farming mindlessly with my friends having conversations about anything and everything uh if one of these days I'll, I'll try to record some some gameplay footage of of just like us farming and and having you know the conversations and see if we can get some of that content going because it, it is ridiculously fun just to have conversations about literally anything and everything that comes to mind over the course of your farming session and having you know friends come in and drop out of the conversation and and everything like that it, it is just the most social game that i've ever played um and and i love that and i'm very thankful for that especially because we, you know we are still in a in an age of somewhat isolation <laughs> over the last couple of years it's been you know a lot of people have been cooped up inside and haven't been able to get outside for various reasons not just you know the big ones um so yeah it's definitely been a way to kind of connect back with some friends and make new friends uh and, and kind of like do that so uh, where I go from here, I'm going to play Diablo Immortal till the wheels fall off, man. Um, basically, unless, you know, another game comes along that I enjoy more, uh, I'm not going to transition away and we will play Diablo Immortal until Diablo 4 comes out. And I'm definitely going to be playing Diablo 4 when it comes out based on how much I love Diablo Immortal because it can only be better than this uh, from everybody that's played other, you know, the, the, you know Diablo 1 through 3. Uh, Diablo 4 can only be better than this, so we'll, we'll kind of see how that goes, and we'll go from there. Um, outside of that, I may do some one-off Raid Shadow Legends videos because uh, I do still play that game as well on the side. Uh, again, it's much more AFK-style game, so I can definitely do both. Um, from there, we'll, we'll kind of see. We'll, we'll take it take it day by day and, and kind of go from there, but uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any other questions. If you guys have any other questions you want to know about me, my background, where I go, what I do uh, for fun, any, you know, any other in-game stuff that you want to hear from me about, definitely leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, drop a like, hit that sub button. It's free. It means a lot to me if you do. And uh, yeah, I'm JKG. Y'all been amazing. Peace.